and welcome to the podcast with Natalie. So today we have with us a very enthusiastic, young and bubbly mom, a very passionate one also I'd like to add, joining us from Mumbai, India, Renita Fernandez. And Renita is here to share with you a decision that she made that brought about a turning point in her life. One that certainly inspired me, one that led me to select her as my woman of worth for this month, my wow for this month. If you would like to stay inspired with stories by other mums, stay tuned because I can assure you that Renita's sharing will bring in a lot of inspiration to your life. Hi, Renita, and welcome to the podcast with Natalie. It's such a pleasure to talk to you otherwise. And today to have you on my show, it's an absolute honor. Hi, Nats. Thank you so much. Uh, it's always a pleasure to be on uh, Natalie Inspires You podcast. So thanks for having me. Great, great. So Renita, today I'd like you to share with our listeners the turning point in your life, a time where you took a very tough decision a few years ago, and your reasons for doing so. So Nats, uh, uh, I was in the corporate world for around um, 13 years. I took this decision of leaving the corporate world um, uh, three years ago. And I was in that field for around 13 years. But I have uh, my daughter who's 11 this year. And uh, I think she needed more support, more of my time. And uh, I needed to balance that out. So there were two aspects that led me to this decision. One was my own health and one was more time with uh, my daughter and my family. So um, since I had this travel, uh, I had to travel far away from my work. The, the, I opted for the shift of go, working early in the morning. So I would wake up at four uh, in the morning and come home by four in the evening to balance my work life. Oh my gosh. Ren, that was an absolute absurd time, but um, I'm guessing you took it for the betterment of your family life, right? Right. Uh, because of the traffic that's here and, you know, I was working uh, far away from where I stay, um, I would miss the traffic if I would do that shift in the, in the, uh, in the morning. Oh, yes. Talk to me about the traffic in Mumbai. Of what I remember, I think um, it's quite bad and I'm guessing it still is. It still is, and uh, I'm not sure when it will end, but <laughs> that was one of my reasons, uh, you know, so I could give time to my daughter in the evening, take her for some extracurricular activities, or just walk, take her down to play and take care of her studies. So that would give me that time. But what would happen in the interim is uh, I had to get to bed at 10, which was uh, not always possible, right? Because uh, my husband would come home a little bit later and he had all the energy in the world at nine o'clock in the night. Oh, yes. I'd like to tell our listeners that Renita's husband is as enthusiastic as her. So if he came home at nine, I'm sure he came home with a lot more energy <laughs> than what she already has. Absolutely. He just wanted to spend time with uh, our daughter and... Uh, I'm in the in the midst of packing up the kitchen and I want to go back, go to bed and stuff. So it was getting to a point where I was not able to give that good uh, side of me to my husband and my child at 10. And there were days and nights where I'm putting her to sleep, but I have gone off to sleep. So it was not good for my health. It was not good for my family. The mood that was we were exchanging in the evenings was not very good. So I, I made this decision that I had to do it for myself as well as for my family. I made this decision because um, if, if I'm not in, in the best of health, then how can I take care of somebody who is so dependent on me? So when I re realized that, I said, OK, I think we need to, you know, balance that out. And so that's, that's why I did what I did. Hats off to you, Renita, for making this decision, because in today's day and age, knowing that along with the good that would have come with this decision of yours to leave the corporate world and stay at home to take care of your daughter and, uh, you know, quality time with your family, there could also 
be repercussions of the same. For example, financial, emotional effects. So really, really hats off to you for taking that decision. So tell us, Renita, post this decision, how did your life change? And what is it that helped you to survive that decision till date? So as you said, Nats, uh, definitely it impacts financially. That's the first thing that hits you, right? Because uh, it's, a, it's a joint household income and, and you've been independent for so many years. So that's, a, that's something that, uh, you know, we sat down and spoke. It was not an easy decision for, the, for my husband as, as well as for myself. But we, we weighed our pros and cons and we weighed the good and the bad. And we came to that decision. Um, now, leading what your question was uh, in how did I, did I face face my challenges after that is uh, you know you I, I took up something that interested me uh, so I did a teaching course also uh, you know you get you get back to something that you've not been doing for so many years so like reading or um, you know right now I'm into comparing so something that you that I liked I was able to you know get back to something that I enjoy doing so much and you know, balancing that out with taking care of the family and my daughter. So right now I'm, I'm, I'm in a very good zone where I'm able to, you know, mentally uh, space out everything for everybody's betterment. But yes, initially it does, uh, you know, when you don't get that income coming in uh, every first of the month, it does, it does give you uh, a pinch and then you realize, oh, uh, this is not what I signed up for. But when you see the joy, uh, you know, that your daughter has uh, and the happiness that she's having every single day, that's just because I'm around. Uh, it, it's uh, I, the best decision that anyone could ever take. Oh, Renita, thank you so much for your honesty. And thank you for sharing with us that how initially it's not very easy. But, you know, the good thing about you uh, is that you always um, are someone who picks up the pieces and moves ahead. Like you shared uh, with our listeners today that you do um, comparing or you love reading, you're, you've done something that you're passionate about, which is helping you to tip the scales very well and leading you to be happy with your decision. So for all our listeners today, uh, do bear in mind that if you're sitting on the fence with a decision similar like Renita's, where you're battling the corporate world against um, the balance with your family, you have an option here. She shared with you her true life story, something that will bring so much joy to your family, something that you can work around. So I do hope that her sharing um, inspires you as much as it has inspired me today. So coming to the second half of this podcast, where we're going to discuss is it really possible to be inspired by somebody younger than you? You know, Renita, I would like to share with our listeners today that for me, that question is yes, because you're way younger than me. You're way, uh, you know, enthusiastic and you're so bubbly. You're so enthusiastic. You're a go-getter. And um, yes, I chose you as my woman of worth, my wow for this month in spite of you being younger than me, because I'm truly inspired by you. But um, I must say that I, I have come across a few people who are of the mindset that when you have somebody younger than you, they find it difficult to be inspired by them or to choose them as their role models because they say that, oh, we've been there, we've done that. It's no big deal. I've crossed the path. So what is your view on this from a you know, younger generation? Do you also share the same view? Would you be inspired by someone who's younger than you? Uh, to be honest, Nats, I'm always inspired by somebody younger because I have my own daughter who is 11 years old. And honestly, I'm inspired by her every single day with how she has, uh, you know, how she's dealing with the pandemic, being the only child. So, you know, there are so many things that you can just be inspired by looking uh, around you. But for people who are listening, you know, there are, there are three, uh, the three C's that, that you know, uh, help me make that decision and it could, it could help them. One is chance, choice and change. So you have to take the chance 
to make that choice to make the change because change is constant so uh, you have to make the change for for the betterment of yourself and the, and your family so it can be younger then you it can be the person can be elder than you uh, age is just a number it's something that uh, will help you if it it can help you then why not absolutely rain and i must say you've taken this to a, uh, you know another level by saying that you are inspired by your daughter that is um, humility in itself that you can choose to be inspired by someone way way younger than you and yes for for mothers listening in sometimes we need to just stop and pause and look at our children look at them from a distance it's only when we do that can we really truly be inspired by them absolutely nat and so renita as we come to the end of this podcast let me ask you if there was one thing that you'd like our listeners to take from your sharing today what would it be so nat just on a lighter note okay uh because this this whole pod- podcast I, i think was very serious but uh, i can just say i may not have the money but i do have my honey <laughs> awesome, awesome i love that <laughs> yes so true and 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 if all of us could really concentrate on the honey instead of the money for the rest of our lives especially after this pandemic what a wonderful beautiful world it would be Yes. So thank you Renita. Again I'd say it's always a pleasure talking to you online or offline but by coming on to the podcast with Natalie you really lightened up my day and I'm sure even our listeners listening to us today. So God bless you Renita. Thank you so much Nats and you've always been an inspiration to me and continue to do the great job. Thank you Nats for having me on this podcast. I really enjoyed. I hope I've inspired many people.